be a good one. You know, they've got some great talent on that next uh, card, Sam. I mean, Daryl Tyson, to me, is one of the best lightweights in the world. The, the kid from the Coast, Gonzalez, is another guy that they're talking about as a future champion. Uh, it's just a great card for anybody to come out to see. Tyson, I'm surprised that uh, Gonzalez would come here to fight a, a Daryl Tyson. Should be a good one. We're set for more boxing action. Let's go back to Ed Darian for the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is scheduled for eight rounds and it's in the middleweight division. Two changes in officials. Judge Dr. Marvin Goldberg replaces Judge Harold Letterman. And referee is Oscar Perez. And now my friends, introducing the principals. First, in the blue corner, wearing the red trunks with the white trim. He weighed in at an even 163 pounds. This young man has 15 wins, four losses with 12 knockouts from the Bronx, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Richard Burton. Burton. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing the white trunks with the black trim. He weighed in at an even 165 pounds. This young man has 11 wins, four losses with nine knockouts. A native of Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic, and now residing in Boston, Massachusetts. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Gennaro Boca Chica Castro. Castro. Gennaro Castro, who fought here at the Felt Forum in our last fight night at the Felt Forum. And was beaten by Merki Sosa in a scheduled eight rounder. Castro comes in with nine knockouts in his record. Did not show us punching power in that fight against well, Sosa. Uh, what happened with Sosa, you know, they, they both came from the Dominican Republic and they, they were all friendly and uh, before the fight it almost looked like a sparring session for a while, but Castro did show flashes of ha having ability in that fight, uh, Sam. He may uh, make a little stronger effort against Richard Burton. And every fight for Richard Burton now is so very, very important. He's 28 years old. He'll be 29 in August. He's 15 and 4. He's been stopped three times. He must win if he is to continue his pro career and try to make anything of it. Well, he's another guy that's a great offensive fighter, Sam. His chin has always been a little suspect. So if you're working with a Richard Burton, you really got to keep yourself alert at all times. Burton back in the ring for the first time in almost a year. His last fight was June the 2nd of last year when he won a 10-round decision over Tim Knight. Looks like he has a few extra pounds. Yeah, on his looks hand. a little soft. Castro, you can almost see it already, Gil. He's throwing meaner punches in this first round than he did in that fight against Sosa, the entire eight-round fight. Sam, you beat me to the punch again. <laughs> Believe me, I was just going to say the same thing. He's already thrown harder punches and more meaningful than he did in the entire fight against Murky Sosa. Landed a couple of good stiff jabs on Richard Burton. A one sided decision that Castro lost to Sosa, 7 1, 7 1, 7 0 oh, 1, or the scorecards of the officials on May 11th. So Sosa right back, excuse me, Castro right back in there two weeks later comes back. Burton, nice combination. Good straight right hand. Castro trying to get out of there, but Burton staying with him. And against Murky Sosa, Castro did the same thing, fought off the ropes, tried to trap Sosa into opening up so he could nail him. And another good middleweight just stopped by to say hello, Iran Barkley. Iran Barkley will be fighting Michael Dunn for the middleweight championship. Some good fights coming up. 
be an interesting summer. End of round one, scheduled for eight. Middleweights Richard Burton and Gennaro Castro. This program is authorized by Madison Square Garden Productions Incorporated solely for the entertainment of our audience. Any publication rebroadcast or the use of the pictures, descriptions, and accounts of this event, including the imposition of a charge for viewing the program without the expressed written consent, Madison Square Garden Productions Incorporated is prohibited. Close up of Gennaro Castro. Man from the Dominican Republic. Barkley. We'll chat with Evander Holyfield. As Sam, he says he's going to train at Rikers Island Prison to get mean mm. for, for his fight with the with none. Said he wants to be real mean for that fight, and that's the place to get mean. Going, going to prison to train for a fight. And Barkley trying to come back off the defeat with the hands of Roberto Duran. What a stunning fight that was. Well, Sam, I had the pleasure of broadcasting that fight, and it was just such a great fight. And believe me, it was a very good Iran Barkley, the, the Duran decision. Throwing punches. Straight right hand. He's always been a good puncher, but he's had that tendency to leave himself wide open and get caught. Good heavy punches by Castro. Countless. Interesting to see if Burton, after the layoff of 11 months, almost a full year, really, a week short of a year, whether he'll have the stamina to go a full eight rounds if he has to. He's not a fighter that expends a lot of energy, uh, Sam Richard Burton. Very efficient fighter, but as you say, uh, a little too much offensive and forgets himself and gets nailed. Burton has been stopped three times by Horacio Perez back in 1984, by Mustafa Hamsho in 86, and then by Michael Olajide Jr. in 87. Well, three pretty good fighters. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is that Burton has only fought three Three fights in the last two and a half years. Two fights in 87, one in 88, and this is his first fight in 89. Seems to be starting to wear down a little bit already, Sam. Castro lands a good left hook. Castro starting to land a few more punches. Jenkins, exactly what we were talking about, Sam. Exactly. Falls asleep and gets nailed. Castro trying to follow up. Burton trying to collect himself. Still a little bit shaky. You know, Sam was amazing. It was only in the second round, and we could see that he was wearing down already. Burton tried to fight Castro off. Mouthpiece is knocked out of the mouth of Burton. Final seconds of the second round. for Gennaro Castro. End of round two. Burton survives and will have to collect himself. And we talked about big fights coming up and uh, none bigger than the rematch between Sugar Ray Leonard and Tommy Hearn. And you can see it on closed circuit television here at Madison Square Garden. Tickets available at the Garden Box Office and by calling Ticketmaster 212-307-7171. Sugar Ray Leonard, Tommy Hitman Hearns for the WBC Super Middleweight Championship, which is held by Sugar Ray. As they meet up again eight years later. Well, Sam, eight years later, I'm still looking forward to it. These guys have got great hearts. They both have a lot of ability.
ability. Should... Here comes that left hook. Bingo. Again, Burton was throwing punches, forgetting to de defend himself. Round three scheduled for eight. See the after effects of that big left hook. And a little later on, the right hand that knocked the mouthpiece out of the mouth of Burton. Well, one, one effect that the left hook will have, if it doesn't have a physical effect on uh, Burton, it'll have a mental effect on Castro. He'll have a lot more confidence now, and he'll start throw punches, throw punches with a little more confidence, which means so much in boxing. There he's throwing that left hook counter again. And Burton is the man backing off, gets nailed with a left hook. Good jabs by Burton. But Castro has found a home with that left hook, Sam. Right hand over the top is just window dressing. Burton was throwing his punches with a lot more authority in the first round. That's a better jab. Castro seems to be willing to trade with Burton, feeling that he has the bigger punches. And he's also backing Burton up now. Before, before Castro was waiting on the ropes for Burton, now he's moving Burton back. Not giving any ground at all. Neither man big on defense. Straight right hand is the key for Burton. He needs to land that and rock Castro a little bit. But now, Sam, he's just pushing that right hand out. No snap on it. And he's holding his mouth, Sam, as if there's something the matter with his mouth. He's trying to hold his mouthpiece in or whatever. But it's a very awkward position for his mouth to be in. Wonder if there's a cut inside or something like that. Don't see any blood. See again, he's yeah. waiting on the ropes. Castro is able to back him up, move him around. Sharp jab by Castro. He's taking liberties with Burton. See when Burton throws that right hand now, Sam, it's almost like a jab. Burton's been using his jab a lot in this round. End of round three. Out for round three, scheduled for eight. Middleweight's Richard Burton. Excuse me, this is round four. Richard Burton in the red trunks. Gennaro Castro in the white. How do you have it scored, Gil? I have it even. 1-1-1. One, one, one. How do you have it? A little ledge to Burton, 2-1. to one. I went for him in that last round by a little bit. I thought he stayed with, busy with that jab. And Castro staying right there, right in front of him, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, willing to trade with Burton. Trying to bang away with that left hook that rocked Burton earlier. Look at the difference, Sam, the way that first round started with the Castro backing up. making Burton miss a little bit more in this round than he did in the previous round. You know, Sam, I like fighters that stay busy. When you fight three fights in two years, it, show, it certainly has an effect on you. Well, I think basically what it got down to is Richard Burton wasn't sure that he wanted to stay in boxing. And he decided he wanted to give it another try, and Howie Albert, his manager, said, okay, we'll get you in there. And again, he's fighting a kid that just fought two weeks ago. Burton 
Sutton is going to have to stop putting some snap in that right hand, Sam, to stop this kid. They get hit with another good left hook. I and think another good left hook. You may be seeing the beginning of the end of this fight because once that left hook starts landing on Burton, he's going to get into serious trouble. Burton is an offensive fighter, and he just gets hit a lot. And I think that uh, he just thumbed Castle, or at least Castle was complaining about his thumbing. There's that left hook. <laughs> We're thinking along the same lines. You can just see it coming. Burton doesn't. That was too, too far away and too big. And Castro is making Burton work, which you should do with a guy that hasn't fought, been inactive. He's putting pressure on Burton, making him stay in there and throw punches. Certainly a much better fight for Gennaro Castro than two weeks ago when he lost to his fellow countryman, Murky Soso. One of the most inspiring programs in all of sports. Special Olympics attract more. Out for round five. Gennaro Castro in the white. Richard Burton in the red. Standing toe to toe. It's not good for Mr. Burton. He has to outbox Castro to win this fight. And they pitch just as well, but I think that Castro is a better catcher than Burton, so he had better box. Burton has yet to land that big right hand of his. Sam, he stopped throwing with any authority two rounds ago. Throws it, but it's almost like apologetic when he does. Now there was a case where Castro threw a left hook, was wide open for a counter right, and Burton never threw it. Never pulled the trigger, just looked. Part of that is a sign of the, the long layoff. Long layoff, and also and sometimes when the fighters start to lose it, like Joe Lewis, uh, when he no longer had it, he said, you know, he said, I'd see the opening, but by the time my brain sent the message to my hand, the opening was no longer, no longer there. And that's what Burton looks like tonight. Nice snappy jab, though, by Burton. And that's what he should do, just try to put these rounds in the bank, just with the jab. suddenly has become a little hesitant. Maybe that jab is bothering him. Good job by, by Burton with that jab. For whatever reason, Castro has uh, seemed to have lost a little desire. And now Burton's starting to open up a little bit. That jab has really been effective for Richard Burton. And he's trying to follow up the advantage. This is the stage of a fight where Burton has got to guard against becoming careless and falling asleep, as you mentioned before, and leaving himself open for that left hook. Right now he's fighting more purposeful from Castro, like he wants it more. trying to get in a big punch starting to wind up with both hands looking for bombs but Burton is apparently taking this round with that jab end of round five round six scheduled for eight Sam, this is a very, very important round in the fight because Burton won the last round big. And he expended some energy, and now it's a question to see if he can put rounds together back to back. He comes out pumping the jab again. Castro comes out throwing punches. A little more frequently than last Beautiful. Good right hand by Burton. Beautiful combination by Burton. Burton starting to land that right and gaining a little bit of confidence. 
Sam, you can see the ring rust coming off as the fight goes on. Looked so much better last round than at the start of this round. Good quick left by Burton. Has to do now. He's outboxing Castro. And he's a little bit quicker than Castro. Now he's starting to throw a couple punches and move out. So that Castro's counters aren't as effective as they were before. Castro slow with that right hand. So now Burton starting to gain a little edge in this fight. Got rocked in the second round from a big left hook, but he's come back well. And the pace has really slowed to this fight here. Well, Burton now is just outboxing him, stepping around, scoring points. Better not leave himself open. Those big punches of Castro's still have some power behind them. Well, you know, with the Castro's 11 wins, nine have been by knockout, so he is a puncher. on those punches by Burton. Well, the last right hand, and there goes uh, Burton's mouthpiece again. He's had trouble keeping it in. Final seconds of the sixth round. That's it. In the corner of Richard Burton. Howie Albert, his manager, leaning in through the ropes. Yeah. Louis Camacho for the instructions in the ring. Mr. Mr. Burton, pleading on me already? Huh? Watch him out and Willie Dunn, who used to be managed by Howard Albert, is giving Castro his instructions. Boxing's one big happy family. I was trying to pick up the pace. Let's take, let's take a look at this combination by Brighton. Good. That uppercut lifted up his head, and he nailed him with a good straight right hand. And there's another right hand by Brighton. But he never followed up after that. It seemed to well, he, take a lot out of him, sapped his energy. He's not going to, he has to just completely outbox this guy, which he's done for the last two rounds. But he has to continue to do that. He gets into a punching match, uh, anything can happen. All right, how do you have it scored through six? 3 2 1, Burton. Well, I've got a 4 2 for Burton. So let's see what happens. Final two rounds. This is round seven. coming very wide and very slow. And he's been eating those jabs, Sam. Burton, good use of the jab. She's just hooked away and enough to bother Castro. Shake him a little bit as, he, as Castro has to back off. Burton lands a right hand, then gets tagged. Burton has that tendency to get a little bit careless and leave his chin exposed. Here goes and the mouthpiece again. Boy, he's had trouble with that. So now it's Castro pressing. With more than half the round left. And then Burton, 35 
to go in the round. Burton suddenly looks tired again, Sam. He looked tired in the second round, and it looks like he's tired again. And those overhand punches landing more frequently by Castro. Burton trying to stay with him, going punch for punch. Well, Burton does not lack courage, that's for sure. Castro also is not as fresh as a day. Oh, yeah. You're right about that. Ooh, a little holding. Actually, Castro pulled Burton's head in, and they banged heads. This is an interesting fight, Sam. Evenly matched and real close here. Castro really pressing here in the seventh round. Burton again trying to use that jab. Well, that's what he has to use. And again, he stopped the he stopped Castro on his tracks with the jab. seconds of the seventh round. Burton got in an uppercut. End of round seven. Real close round. Who do you give that one to? Castro for the heavier and harder punches. And who did you give it to? I went for Castro too, but it's real close. Oh, that was a very close round. Same thing. Same thing. I don't want to change that. Last round. Last round. Let's go get him. Last Celto again. Okay? Last Celto. Same thing. Louis Camacho in the corner. We're hearing Willie, Willie Dunn. He said, Ultimo round and last assault. <laughs> he, he didn't say Ultimo assault. He it was half English, half and he did it both ways. That's the last, uh, that's the uh, new Spanish. He said, Willie Dunn is speaking. This is the round I think Sam is going to decide the fight. Very close. I've got a 4 3 for Burton. You've got a 3 3 1. And here they go. Burton was shaken by a left hook in the second round. Otherwise, neither man has been hurt. Burton has been very effective with a jab. It'll be interesting to see how the judges reflect that. And also effective with a right uppercut, Sam. Short right uppercut is used quite effectively, and there it is again in this fight. Castro lands a left hook. Trying to load up a big punch. Castro has been the bigger puncher in this fight. Burton has not scored with that very effective right hand that he's used to knock out a lot of his opponents in the past. And Castro is pressing him now, coming like, coming like a freight train. to the body. Castro landing both hands, another left and a right land, and Burton a little shaky. Winding his stance. Hard punches by Castro. Burton was wobbled a little bit by those punches. Castro coming on. This could be a very important round for Gennaro Castro. As he's landed, Burton has not been able to avoid those punches. The only punch that Burton has been able to land this round, except for that right hand, was, was a jab. Let's see if he can follow in. Missed the uppercut. Castro was right there for him. Well, we said Burton has plenty of courage, Sam, but uh, we, whether that's enough or not, we do not know. This is where Burton would want to unload that right hand. Less than a minute to go in the final round. Tried to drop the right hand that time. Did not have much power behind it. Lancing right hand, there goes 
Burton's mouthpiece. Again. They've got to buy him a new mouthpiece. No question about that. That's really it. And they must use it in a gym every day, Sam. They should know by now that the mouthpiece isn't effective. Nice combination by Burton. Final seconds of this fight. And a very close one. strong. Castro very tired here. Barely has anything left on his punches. And here comes the final bell. There it is. I've got it 4-4, four, four, Gil. I'd be satisfied with a draw, Sam. To, to me, it's too tough to score. Real close. Real close fight. Evenly matched. Gennaro Castro coming back two weeks after losing to Marquis Sosa. Richard Burton coming back after almost a year layoff, deciding he wanted to get back into the ring again. One time fine amateur in the New York Golden Gloves. Good middleweight prospect who has been knocked out three times, lost four fights. Gennaro Castro has four losses. being checked out. And if you joined us late, Aaron Superman Davis scored a first round knockout in our co-featured event against Jose Torres. Three knockdowns in the first round. And Buddy McGirt stopped Orlando Orozco at 21 seconds of the fifth round. Here's the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the scoring by rounds as follows. Judge Barbara Perez, watch the fight at 5-3 Castro. Yeah. Judge Tony Castellano, he scored it 5-3 Burton. Yeah. And Judge Dr. Marvin Goldberg, he scored it 6-2. For the winner by split decision, Richard Burton. Decision. You see uh, some of the fans not uh, too sure they agreed with the judges scoring on that one. A close fight. It was a close fight, Sam. And I would have been satisfied if they stopped announcing it after the first two guys. <laughs> then it would have been a draw. I would have been happy, but it was a, just a tough fight. Well, for Richard Burton, a very important victory as he tries to get his career back on track. We'll be back to wrap up fight night at the Felt Forum in just a moment.